Good evening and welcome to the season nine finale of Summit Sessions Live. I'm your host, Charlie Fawson, and we are here inside Moore Hall Studios at Central Michigan University. This is a student produced program that's coming to you live on MHTV, our YouTube live channel, and the Mountain 91.5. Our amazing audio mix is brought to you by Moore Media Records, specifically Justin, who is a boss. There he is. Don't forget to send your questions for our band on Twitter at summit underscore sessions or in the comments section right here on YouTube Live. Please welcome our musical guest of the evening, Loud, Sad, and Disoriented, also known as LSD. They are from Alma and describe their music as hard rock slash alternative metal. The group consists of Ian Dickerson on guitar and vocals, Alan Scruggs on bass, and Mason Miller on drums. Now, here's LSD with their first song, Rotting Away. Thank you. 
time has gone away as I ride away. And that was Riding Away, and we are LSD. And this next song we're going to play is called Descent into Darkness. This is a very vulgar song, so thank you in advance. Let's go. you turn inside until you feel just fine you know you turn inside you'll never feel oh, right you never stop now you are cold and lifeless you better run to a place where where nobody knows your name your soul
the darkness. Now, this next song is called Said Too Much. This is a song we, probably the most recent song we've come up with. You wanna guide us into it, Mason? Go ahead. Too much. 
Okay, and this is the last song we're gonna take. Before, we're gonna do before we take a little break, and then we're gonna do an interview with Charlie over here, gracious host. So this next one is gonna be Alone Again, and this is one of our first ones we ever wrote. Take it away, Mason. That was LSD with Alone Again. Now we're going to take a short break, but we'll be right back.
región central de Estados Unidos hay un promedio de más de 850 tornados cada año y últimamente el número de inundaciones también ha aumentado. Por eso, lo más probable es que vuelva a haber más tornados e inundaciones en el área. Y con tantas actividades, es probable que cuando suceda, usted no esté con sus hijos. ¿Saben ellos qué hacer? Listo.gov Diagonal Niños tiene información para facilitar esta conversación. Cuando llegue el momento, se sentirán preparados y no asustados. Así que hable con su familia hoy mismo. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. I want to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I need to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Why can't I eat, eat, eat apples and bananas? Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. Me llamo Raquel Mendoza y esta es mi vida. Mis hijos están envueltos en muchas actividades. Eso requiere mucho estrés y correr para acá y para allá. A veces mi familia necesita un escape. Este lugar trae mucha paz y hay mucha calma, mucha naturaleza. Quiero regresar con mi familia más seguido. Encuentra el bosque más cercano en descubreelbosque.org. El bosque, más cerca de lo que crees. Okay, Dad. One, two, three. You saved me. Dad? Are you okay? I'm fine, dear. Your hero needs you now, and AARP is here to help. Find the care guides you need at aarp.org slash caregiving. Mario uh, fue pintor más de 30 años. Cuando Mario me dijo que tenía problemas en el trabajo, que se le estaban olvidando las cosas, fue difícil. Yo le di a la gente que le diga a su familia lo que está pasando con él. Y quiero que me apoyen, que me entiendan y que me quieran. Welcome back. Now I have some questions for you guys. Uh, firstly, how did you get into music? Well, I want to start over here. You can individually. Um, I got into music just because, like, in sixth grade, I joined the band in Elma, and you know, I've been working on music since then. And about two and a half years ago, I decided to take it into my own hands and figure out what I can make from there. That's awesome. I've always grew up around music in my life, so you know. That's always been a big inspiration. And my grandpa, before he passed away in 2019, he gave me, he bought me a cheap guitar and cheap drum set off the internet, you know? That's because he noticed I was starting to get into that type of stuff. Yeah. So that's really how I started to get into music. Yeah, I have similar. My grandpa did give me a guitar as well. I seen a video on YouTube of Motley Crue uh, oh, yeah. Tommy Lee up in the drum cage just spinning around, and I wanted to be like that, so. Drummer. Oh yeah, big Molly Crew guy. So how did you guys meet? Uh, me and Alan have known each other for about five years, probably a little bit more than that maybe. Okay. And we've been friends for about that long. We've been making music for probably about two and a half years together. And then Mason, you want to explain? Uh, I've I seen them playing guitar on Snapchat map and uh, I recognized Alan, I didn't recognize Ian. But I saw so I went up to Allen in school. I'm like, hey, you guys need a drummer? And so he was all freaked out and everything. But later that day, we met up and we started playing. 
That's awesome. Social media coming in handy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Uh, as a group, who would you guys consider to be your musical inspiration? Nirvana. Nirvana? Yeah, I guess I'd have to agree with that. Yeah, do you guys listen to a lot of Nirvana or? Oh yeah, dude, that's what I grew up. That's like what, when I started to get into hard rock, like that's yeah. my thing, I listened to all their stuff. Okay, yeah, I definitely hear a lot of Nirvana on you guys. Uh, what about individually, your musical influence? Um, I'd say my <coughs> influence is probably like Pink Floyd, definitely inspired me to play music and a few other bands like Five Finger and Dust Punch and in this moment, love them, they inspired yeah. me too. Nice. But for the most part, that's who I... I started out, I don't know, mainly like kind of like soft rock side, alternative rock, and then I started to get into the hard rock side. And then I got introduced to thrash metal, and then I got turned into a really big metal head. And honestly, I don't know. It, it depends on me. Sometimes I listen to a little bit of rap, but I'm just like I'm a really big metal head, and my, probably my top three bands would probably be, have to be like Nirvana, Three Days Grace, and Slayer for sure. Slayer. I love, nice. love Slayer. Amazing. For me, it, it, it's Limp Biscuit and Motley Crue, because uh, I, I was riding my stepdad's truck when I was like knee high still, and he played, uh, did it all for the Nookie in an S10 with the system in it, and so yeah, I, that that got me into hard rock. That's awesome. Where can uh, our listeners find your guys' music? We don't have any music out right now. Okay. We're waiting uh, to record some stuff and then we can put our stuff out, but we do have social media. Right now on Instagram, it's loud, I think it's loud underscore sad dot and underscore disoriented. And for our Facebook, it's just loud underscore then sad and disoriented. Okay. You guys have any shows coming up? Or? Yeah, we have um, we have one coming up at the Hamilton Street Pub in Saginaw on uh, September, not September, it's December 30th this month, and we're going on at 10 o'clock. And then we have one up at the... Or is it we have one in Harrison at Scooter's Airport Bar on January 14th. Okay. Uh, what do you guys enjoy most about performing? Honestly, I mean, like for me, I just like the thrill of it, I suppose. I like, you get a different feeling when you're performing, I suppose, and I always like to strive for that in life, you know? Yeah, for sure, for sure. To make people smile. Okay, that's a great answer. I, I definitely just like to, you know, perform in front of people. It's something I've always done and, you know, wanted to do, so it's yeah. exactly what I do. Well, you're doing it now. <laughs> well, thank you so much to LSD for answering my burning questions. Now I'm going to toss it over to Megan Hart with Music in the Midden, and right after that we'll have more performances from Loud, Sad, and Disoriented. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back to Music in the Min and More, a segment of Summit Sessions Live devoted entirely to music in Michigan and then some. I'm your host and resident music nerd, Megan Hart, bringing you the latest news from all things music. Let's hop into it. Central Michigan School of Music is hosting eight student recitals December 9th through 11th. These performances range from vocal talent to instruments like saxophone, tuba, and viola. The public can attend these performances free of charge and the School of Music website has more information about times for the individual concerts. When we come back from winter break, there are more concerts in store. The School of Music faculty is putting on a collage show January 12th at 7.30 p.m. in Staples Family Concert Hall. There will be a variety of different performances from talented professors in the music industry. Some amazing performances are coming to Soaring Eagle Casino in the next few weeks. Loverboy, Canadian rock band known for hits Turn Me Loose and Working for the Weekend, performs tonight at 8 p.m. Little River Band, an Australian rock group, is touring with Los Angeles band Ambrosia December 17th at 8 p.m. And on Tuesday, December 27th, rapper Flo Rida takes the stage with some hip-hop hits from 2010. Singer of the 1975 brings back 2014 trend of kissing fans at concerts. Last week, a fan who was holding a sign asking Matt Healy, quote, so are we making out, was pulled up onto the stage as Healy planted a kiss on her. The crowd then went wild with jealousy. However, after the show, there was Twitter controversy of whether Healy asked for consent to kiss this fan. But she has since come forward and confirmed he asked for consent before locking lips with her. Healy was known for kissing fans back in 2014, so is this the revival of the trend? Taylor Swift sweeps the 2022 American Music Awards, winning six total awards. The categories included Favorite Music Video for All Too Well, the 10-minute version, 
Favorite Pop Album for Red, Taylor's Version, and the Grand Prize, The Artist of the Year. These awards add to Taylor's growing collection of now 40 AMAs. In the 50-year history of the competition, Taylor has the most AMAs by a long shot. The closest competitor being Michael Jackson with 26 awards. I can't wait to see what else Taylor has in store for us. Heavy metal band Metallica announces tour dates along with a new album titled 72 Seasons. The band shared the song Lux Eterna last week with a music video, but the rest of the album is set to come out in April of 2023. The music legends will tour shortly after this release, promising two shows in each city they visit with differing set lists and openers at each. Metallica will perform at Ford Field Stadium November 10th and 12th. Tickets are already on sale on Metallica's official website. Well, that's all the time we have today for Music in the Mitten and more. I'm your host, Megan Hart, and we'll be back with Summit Sessions Live after a short break. Stick around. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Families don't have to talk about everything, but they should talk about how to plan for an emergency. Get tips and resources to make your family's emergency plan. The thing that drives me every day as a dad is him. His real name is Darion, and we call him uh, Day Day for short. Every day he's hungry for something whether it's affection, attention, knowledge. And there's this huge responsibility in making sure that when he's no longer under my wing, that he's a good person. I think the advice I would give is you don't need to know all the answers. The craziest thing was believing that your dad knew everything. So as a dad, you felt like you had to know everything. You had to get everything right. It's okay to make mistakes. Just do it from the right place. As long as it's coming from love, then, you know, it kind of starts to work itself out. I want him to be able to sit back one day and go, we worked together, we did a good job. I'll say my kid's pretty dope. I could be you, and you could be me for just one hour. If we could find a way to get inside each other's minds. If you could see you through my eyes instead of your ego. I believe you'd be surprised to see that you've been blind. Walk a mile in my shoes. Walk a mile in my shoes. Yeah, before you abuse, criticize and accuse. Walk, Walk a mile in my shoes. Walk a mile in my shoes. Well, before you abuse, criticize and accuse. Walk a mile in my shoes. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. After 15 years of smoking, Eva Marie quit. There's a new lung cancer screening that could save her life. You stopped smoking, now start screening. Learn more at savedbythescan.org. Part-time job, full-time hustle, all-time Shiro to all of us. 
You nurture, we listen. You teach, we thrive. You lift our spirits, but we've got to lay down the truth. It's time for you, our Shiro, to stretch for the stars. A free online chat can give you the personalized tips you need to start boosting your retirement savings today. Start saving more for retirement so you can feel prepared and live your life to the fullest. Visit aceyourretirement.org. And send them in on Twitter at summit underscore sessions. So under, summit underscore sessions live or swipe up on our Instagram story. Unfortunately, our YouTube live is down for the evening, but it will be uploaded tonight for later viewing. Here's LSD with their next song, Let's Travel to Paris.
That song is the first song that we ever actually wrote. So that song is probably about three years old at this point. That was this Travel to Paris, definitely our most longest. This next one, I'm sorry if it's a little bit shaky. We had to kind of add it to the set list, but it's not broken. So, Mason. Yeah, that song's called Unbroken. We haven't practiced that one probably about a month or month and a half. So this next song is called Patterns and is our last song of the night. So we gotta drop down to a drop D for this. So give us one minute.
All right. You ready? Well, that was LSD with Patterns. Now we'll take a short break, but LSD will be answering your questions live after this. I want to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I need to eat, eat, eat 
apples and bananas. Why can't I eat, eat, eat apples and bananas? Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. Me llamo Raquel Mendoza y esta es mi vida. Mis hijos están envueltos en muchas actividades. Eso requiere mucho estrés y correr para acá y para allá. A veces mi familia necesita un escape. Este lugar trae mucha paz y hay mucha calma, mucha naturaleza. Quiero regresar con mi familia más seguido. Encuentra el bosque más cercano en descubreelbosque.org. El bosque, más cerca de lo que crees. Okay, Dad. One, two, three. Ah! You saved me. <sighs> Dad? Are you okay? I'm fine, dear. Your hero needs you now, and AARP is here to help. Find the care guides you need at aarp.org slash caregiving. Mario, uh, Twippy, Now let's see. Let's see. I already went. Uh, welcome back. Now let's see what questions the viewers at home have. From YouTube, what is your favorite holiday? We can just go individually down the line. Uh, my favorite holiday would definitely be between Halloween and Christmas, just because you know it's just that time of the year. Yeah, right. right there. Yeah, I would honestly kind of have to say the same. Honestly, I really like Fourth of July too, because during the summer. But I, just because you get to get out. But I also really love Halloween because that's when I got together with my girlfriend. So. Nice. Yeah. I gotta say Fourth of July because rednecks and guns. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good answer. YouTube. What other genres would you like to try playing? Um. I honestly don't even know just because like my genre of music's so mixed that if I play anything it's just kind of a source between rock and you know whatever other genres I play yeah, so for sure I don't think there's really a different genre that I'd rather play but bluegrass okay that is country metal bluegrass is country metal like swear to god like, <laughs> I agree like I don't really like country too much I like some country I don't really like a lot of pop, pop country but bluegrass, like people that play bluegrass, I have complete respect for. I would love to learn that, play that, especially yeah. on the banjo. Yeah, that's awesome. The fiddle. I would love to learn how to play the banjo. Death metal or death core. Why? Okay. Because fast. Yeah. I second that one too. Yeah, I yeah, heard you I going pretty fast right. with the drums right. on uh, one of the songs there. That, that, that's not fast. Oh, that's not fast? That's, that's not fast. Not Definitely fast. faster than I can it's do. It's not it. fast enough. It's not <laughs> fast enough. There you go. Let's see. Also from YouTube, what is your fandom name? Our fandom name. What is that? We got a fandom yeah, name. Like, I like what are our follower names? Yeah. What? I don't know. What would we, what oh, what would we call this our followers? I'm Big Thunder. This is, this is I'm a definitely question Big Thunder. Let's see. Um, Can I suggest something? Yes. Just like the loud, sad, and disoriented, like the people. Yes. Yes. The yes. name, I guess. I guess. Yeah. You, you are. Um, it's something that is a statement that you could... We got, we got, wait, 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 LSD, LSD. What? It's LSD, so you got to come up with something related to like that. I don't know. Okay, there are, I don't know, there are trippers, something to do with that, I don't know. I really don't well, know. you guys can think on it. From YouTube, are you excited to be on MMR's yearly sampler album? Yes, yes we are. This course. is... Definitely, well, we, yeah. This is a big jump for us. This is going to be our first music that we ever record, so we hope to. This is our first stuff that we're going to put out on anything, so you guys can check that out when we get it, probably in April. All that yeah, time. and th this is like the first it. time I'm ever being in a band, and so I've yeah. only been playing with these guys for like three months and already being able to get through the studio. It's, pre it's pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. That's sweet. Well, that is all the time we have for today. A big thank you to Loud, Sad, and Disoriented for being on the Season 9 finale of Summit Sessions Live. Don't forget to keep up with us on Twitter at Summit underscore Sessions and on Instagram at Summit underscore Sessions Live. This recording will be available for viewing on our YouTube Live later tonight. And we apologize again for the technological inconveniences. 
And thank you to those leaving us comments on YouTube. It made us smile despite all of the stress, so just thank you. Summit Sessions Live will be back for its 10th season premiere on Friday, January 20th at 8 p.m. here on YouTube Live. We would also like to recognize our current executive producer, Oswin, and MMR crew member, Justin. They're graduating this December and will be leaving the show to go off and do awesome things in the world. So thank you, Oswin and Justin, and all of us wish you the best for your future. For Summit Sessions Live, I'm your host, Charlie Fawson. We'll see you next time.